Previously on Football Manager 22, rebuilding Barcelona. A really nice play, Coutinho turned. Oh, Fatty header. Ooh, ah, oh, crap, he's off. Okay, Coutinho on form. Yeah, Coutinho is surprising me. He is surprising me. Could have a good season, but I keep him. It's just that wage. It's just a bit like, should I get someone better? I'm beating an eight now. Now we move on to a must-win game in our Champions League group against Monaco. Going to UEFA Cup. Good start. Just as I was thinking about UEFA Cup, I might play it going to our cautious. Got him. He was unlucky against Man City. We had started with that formation. 3-1. Yes, yes, yes. Good day YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the fourth episode of Football Manager Rebuilding Barcelona series. In this episode we look to see where we are after 10 league games. Then we play our first El Clasico. Without ruining it too much, there is a 95 minute winner. So keep watching to find out who nicked it. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Football Manager, Patrick and FIFA, and I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Right, let's have a look at what's happening after 10 games in our Barcelona, rebuilding Barcelona save. So as you can see, we are top. We haven't lost any games. Well, that's the same case with Val Valencia and Villarreal. Real Madrid have lost two games already. Who have I lost to? Let's have a look. Real San Sebastian who we beat, and Mallorca. We have drawn against Cadiz and Espana. We we'll say Espana was a bit of a derby, but yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So I played my B team in my last game. And as you can see behind me, we lost to Real Betis. Yes, it says His Palace, but trust me, it is real Real Betis. I played my B team apart from PK and, and Elba. Alba came off the bench. Uh, Luc Dijon played as well. So it was virtually my B team. We lost 2 1. We was winning 1 0. But after half time, we just. Well, after that goal, actually, you can see down here on Vic G, we stagnated. We just went and then they started. They got for goal. They stagnated. Just no one could make a breakthrough. And suddenly they made a tweak and they got for goal. And then I made a tweak and I got nothing. To be fair, I didn't think. They was doing so well. Maybe they were down a little bit further than this before our game. But they've actually been an unbeaten run for 10 games. It was a good game. We was away. So you can't win every game. But that's our first loss. And we've lost to Real Betis. And with our first loss, we're now going on to play Real Madrid. Team selection. It's now triggered back over to our A team. Dembele's still not back. So we will work in. Yep. Fatty. Actually, Demir's been better. I'm going to play Fatty. I like Fatty at preference. And then Depay for Demir. We're at home. So we are cautious. It's from what I've learned from other games I've played. Nah, let's keep him midfielder there. Actually, can we have him as a support? And then actually play De Jong as a deep line playmaker in defend. Bring him down a little bit. And then Pedri as a supporting attacking playmaker. I think that would work quite well. I am thinking about putting De Jong back down here and then have Pedro and Biscuits there and have those three. Yeah, I am thinking about it. Done it in my Norwich safe. Right, I think that's our best team. Aguero, I think that's Aguero's first start for us. Yes, he's played four sub games. So I think he is ready for a start and what a start we're asking him to come into. I'm happy with that. Let's go, shall we? Let's go. from our last game come on let's go and get that win that's it come on boys remind them that is a rivalry game the result in this game will show us of how far we could possibly take this team that's kind of my expectation we're at home we're playing Real Madrid you can't get any bigger than this if it was away you kind of try and want to get something from game right enough talk let's see let's see what we can do Real Madrid with the ball Camavinga Valverde Benzema Hazard oh great save to Stegen corner has had to take the corner. Cleared by Barcelona, but not really. Uh, offside, that's all right. Right, so half time. It is a very tight game. 
both same chances we've got a little bit of xg but that's because we've got one more on target than them no clear cut chances we're holding possession which is nice to see we've got the better average rating on individuals at the moment i guess we will just continue out for a moment and see what happens because it is a tight game go on let's dig in let's get this win Jordi Alba go on Alba run down that line no nope. Demir De Jong is that a good ball no easily back to to the goalkeeper from Alaba. Now Real Madrid looking to attack. It's always this on the replays that you just never know. You start off with the ball. You can't guarantee it every game. Scott, they're going to get it, aren't they? Good goal. Good goal, but again, on the break. Guaro is playing crap. He's not a complete forward, is he? Once forward. I think complete forward's done. He used to be around for football manager all the time, right? I think it's specialist forwards nowadays. Pressing forward, target man, advance forward. You don't really get a complete forward anymore. Maybe we need to pre bring De Jong a little bit forward. And then Busquets. Try him in that position. Jeremy support. Yeah, defence support. Pedri. Should we try something like that? All right, Sergio. To Dest. On Sergio. Ball in again. Yeah, we don't have De Jong in that box, do we? Luke De Jong. Let's bring those headers. Oh, Pedri. Yes. Did those tactics just work? Oh, another replay. I was just going to stop it to uh, just change maybe work ball into a box. But Fatty. Oh, lucky. I think Aguero is coming off for Luke De Jong. And Depe for Demir. Double change. Keep the tactic. Seems to work it, be working a little bit better. Well, we got the goal from it, so I'm happy with that. De Jong will be a threat in the box now with those crosses. Back to goalkeeper, playing patient football. PK, PK's going to do a little run, little ball over. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Real Madrid's playing their patient football. Oh, no, they've lost it to Dest. To Luke De Jong, Fatty. Back to Dest, Fatty. Fatty, oh, come on. Now, right, last 10 minutes. It's one all. I'm going to keep... But tactic and just want probably make one more change. Who could influence this? Who could influence this? Baldi's got a slight injury. Centre backs haven't done that great. Fatty's knackered. Played well, but maybe, maybe that's a change I need to make. Fatty on. Yeah, okay. So Coutinho on for Fatty and swaps Coutinho and Depe around them for wings. Can anyone nick anything here? Ooh. 40 seconds left of the game. Real Madrid have the ball. Nacho's injured. They've got a yellow card there as well. And Vinga. No, 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 no. What the f***? Nah. Bull. Bull. Team has fallen apart again. This is two games in a row. My B team, now my A team. 95th minute. Right, let's look at stats. We had 16 shots against their nine, 10 on target against their six. Our XG was two against their one. And we lost 2-1. Uh, clear cut chances, we had one to their zero. Possession, we dominated possession with 56%. Had more corners. Yes, we fouled a little bit more. Better passing ratio. More tackles won. We put out a fantastic performance according to XG. It just shows you that XG can be a load of tosh. Oh, I'm human. I am human. Did everything right in that game. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.